Hello, everyone. This is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. We've discussed paraphrased editions of the Book of Mormon previously, and today we'll showcase one of the first paraphrased editions that created a classic in Book of Mormon commentary and illustration and alternative printing. This is The Story of the Book of Mormon by George Reynolds. It was found within a family member's house, and I wanted to give a review of it today. This was originally published in 1888 and is actually still in print on demand today. So George Reynolds was a general authority of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. He was well known uh, as an author and is known in church history as the test defendant for the anti-polygamy laws that came in the 1870s. He lost the case at the U.S. Supreme Court and was one of the first church leaders imprisoned for plural marriage. However, he remained faithful and continued to write literature for the Salt Lake Church. Among his works was this volume called The Story of the Book of Mormon. So this was intended for the youth of the church to learn more about the stories within the Book of Mormon. It was printed several times, and the one shown here is the fifth printing. The text of the book is a paraphrased story of the historical and substantial parts within the Book of Mormon. Interlaced among it, Reynolds goes into details on how on the hows and whys of the Book of Mormon story and gives side commentary and evaluation. However, the text follows the chronology of the Book of Mormon enough for it to be considered a paraphrased edition, even if it's in commentary also. A significant feature is that the edition was the first book to have Book of Mormon illustrations list within the pages. This was a new concept within the church, and pictures of Jesus Christ coming to America were not established as mainstream yet. So stories like the brother of Jared are in the text, and illustrations added to a general concept of the Book of Mormon stories. This text also goes into some detail regarding language and living practices of the people of the Book of Mormon. So it's one of the first books that had an analytical perspective. This blends well with another work of Reynolds, uh, of Reynolds that came a little later. Reynolds and a gentleman by the name of Jan Sheardol created a seven-volume commentary of the Book of Mormon, and much of the concepts and texts are cross-compared to this story of the Book of Mormon volume. I did a video on this seven-volume set and encourage that you see this video also. But overall, this story of the Book of Mormon volume is significant because it was a new concept for church readers, created in 1888 with multiple reprints that set some standards in commentary and review for works afterwards. I know this volume might be a stretch when it comes to a publication of the Book of Mormon, but I thought it was significant enough to showcase within the series due to the fact that it was a groundbreaking volume at the time when it came to commentary and paraphrasing of the Book of Mormon. So a heartfelt thank you for those watching this video. I'm always honored from the feedback and comments on these videos and look forward to more in the future. If you have a special or unique edition of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed here, please contact me at bomeditions at gmail.com. Best wishes until next time.